Okay, three, two, one. Let's talk about red carpet fashion because it's trending and everybody's talking about it and it's fun to talk about. And let's start with the Grammy Awards. I like to talk about Grammy fashion in particular because, you know, people in the music industry, they're a little bit more creative with their attire. Um, it's not quite as uh, stoic and, um, you know, stiff an occasion as the Academy Awards. They're very prestigious. And even though the, the, the Grammys are, you know, the musical industry rewarding its peers, musicians are kind of fun people in general. So uh, let's take a look at who was wearing what uh, at the Grammy Awards. And we'll start with like maybe the, the you know, phenomenon of the year, Lizzo. I think that, you know, for somebody who is, you know, um, not only big talent wise, but big stature wise, I think she's beautiful. And I think that the choice of uh, attire that she chose with the vertical lines that are slimming, but you know, she, she embraces her fullness, let's put it that way. Uh, and certainly that's apparent in her choice of sheer fabric um, because there's very little left to the imagination here. And there's always a, sort of a fine line between sleazy and sexy, but I think Lizzo pulled off the sexy and I think she did it really well. DJ Khalid, a uh, big personality, big audience. I like the fact though that for a big personality who often comes across like he's, I don't know, maybe a little bit full of himself. I like the fact that he played it safe. He's wearing all black. It's very, um, it's very figure flattering. Men have figures too. Uh, he has a pair of like really cool uh, Nike um, uh, kicks on, and that's really the only um, interesting aspect of his element that he uh, you know threw in there. Everything else is very basic, black, conservative, but he's having fun with his footwear. I kind of like um, I like to sort of take people to task. Ariana Grande. She's so cute. Um, I really like her. I think that her attire, her, her choice of attire here, um, oh, I don't know. It's, you know, it, it, I, I'd like to see, I'd like to see this dress in a version that was maybe a quarter of the size of material that was involved. This is yards and yards and yards of tool fabric, that sort of sheer netting. Uh, and it's, I would assume that after this dress was um, created for her, that it probably resulted in a worldwide tool shortage. So that's not, you know, that's not very um, environmentally conscious, Ariana. Ariana. Now let's take a look at Molly music. Uh, and to be honest, I'm really not that sure who this guy is, but I think I will find out who he is simply because of the fact that he's so well dressed. And he pushed it. Uh, you know, the color of his suit is, uh, you know, what I would call, well, it's like a, it's like a deep, deep rose or, a, you know, a wine color. It probably depends on the light that you look at it in. And he's actually wearing the latest trend in menswear, wider lapels, peaked lapels, all of that skinny stuff. Guys, if you're wearing like skinny everything, you're, uh, you know, you're being left in the dust because that's all over. So, uh, you know, Molly here has embraced color. He's got a turtleneck on and he's got just this sort of like subtle hint of like a, a strap and a chain and you know it's not I don't think that there's anything um, uh, inappropriate about it. Uh, it, it, it. It's kind of sexy, it's kind of saucy, 
but this guy is pulling it off and that's the, that's the whole key. If you're going to push the envelope a little bit, then you have to be able to, uh, you know, you have to be able to embrace it and you have to have others reaction be, yeah, this guy looks cool as opposed to this guy looks foolish. Trust me, I've made enough mistakes to know that. Now, this is a, uh, another trend that I want to point out. Um, so, uh, let's see, Arlissa. Let's take a look at Arlissa, and in particular, a close-up of Arlissa, because this is what's happening in hair and makeup now. Uh, in particular, in makeup. The fresh face, pay attention here, has replaced those heavy-duty, like, you know, social media uh, tutorials where everything is you know, sped up and it's layers and layers and layers of product and you know, contour and 200, 200 uh, you know, products later, you've got a, a full face of makeup that's uh, worthy of RuPaul, let's put it that way. So all of that heavy duty theatrical makeup is over with and we're in the era thank goodness of the fresh face and Arlissa nailed it. Olivia O'Brien. Um, <laughs> clearly Olivia looks great uh, and I think that the main reason that she looks great is the fact that she was genetically blessed and there's probably no way that she could look bad. Um, she's wearing bright metallic blue leather and it's pretty revealing but um, you know so long as like the double face tape is <laughs> applied correctly then I think you can actually get away with something like this if you know you look like Olivia and if you're very careful about it and the other cool thing that she's doing is um, She's taking uh, a, a color that has been designated as the Pantone color of 2020, which is classic blue, and she's made this interesting uh, with the metallic finish. So Olivia gets high marks for her approach to fashion, but she also gets high marks for having the parents that she had too. I mean, like, let's face it, there's a lot of luck involved there. Okay, next up is Beck. And Beck is, you know, he's a seasoned musician. He's, he's certainly appreciated, uh, you know, everywhere around the world. The problem that I have with what Beck is wearing is that it's a little bit too trendy. And as I was saying before, if you don't have, if you don't have the ability to pull it off, then there's that fine line between trendy and tragic. And I think that the boutonniere and the white boots and the metallic pinstripe uh, counteract the fact that he's actually got a suit on that proportionally is really cool. I just would have liked to have seen it interpreted in a more basic way. So back, go back to the basics. Uh, Haley Steinfeld. <laughs> um, Haley Steinfeld, is, uh, she's a refreshing sight on a red carpet because she's not trying too hard. So many people take the occasion where their intention is to, you know, look spectacular, but they become a spectacle. Haley played it, you know, she, she took the opposite route, which I think is really cool. It's a fresh interpretation of menswear. Um, you know, sharp-shouldered jacket, um, cropped pants, very ladylike, even though it's technically menswear inspired. And I love the fact that she's a young person, and as a young person, you can, you know, you can get away with more. Um, you, can, you can sort of dive into the trend. That's when you're supposed to be adventurous. And she took the opposite route and played it safe, but she also played it chic and I think that it, it, it she stood out in a crowd of tulle and feathers and glitz and 
um, you know, outrageousness. Now we have Terry Crews and Steven Tyler, okay? And this is, you know, a tale of two fashionable gentlemen. Um, Terry Crews is, you know, he's like a big, you know, uh, burly guy. And uh, I like the fact that he took some chances with his outfit. Again, he's wearing like a really, um, he's wearing a really intense color, uh, this deep rose or, you know, wine or one of, you know, one of maybe claret, you could call it. Uh, and he's got a lapel um, pin on, which is, um, uh, which is another big trend. The jacket's a little bit longer. So, you know, he's like a, he's a guy's guy who, who wasn't afraid to uh, be a little bit more um, adventurous in the way that he interpreted, uh, you know, his outfit. He didn't go for just, you know, a, a, a standard tuxedo, which is, you know, where a lot of guys who, who function within a certain comfort zone, they play it safe. Next to him is Steven Tyler, and Steven Tyler never plays it safe. Um, the question that I have about Steven is that, like, at what point and at what age do you start to tone it down? Because I think he's really cool. I think there's a lot of stuff going on here. And I don't know, it's like, you know, I'm an old guy too. My frame of reference was, you know, growing up, David Bowie was really, really cool, and I liked Aerosmith, but you know, David Bowie kind of became a classic, classically attired, you know, gentleman uh, as he as he aged, and he still always looked cool. And Stephen, I think, needs to maybe retire the feather boa. And I'm going to retire this segment too. So, thanks for watching, Style Wise. Uh, if you like what you see, you can always like, um, you can put a comment, you can like us, you can subscribe. Uh, I'd like to hear from you because I want to learn from you. I want to know what you think and I want to know what you think about me. So let's all get together again on Style Wise on YouTube. Thanks.